when you came to Hollywood the first time, you were hardly 20 years old. Now you're not 23 anymore, and you are Hollywood's biggest sex symbol. How mm -hmm. did you do that? What changed? I believe that anything is possible, because I believe very strongly in the power of the mind. Um, I think that uh, there is too much emphasis these days, or not so much this, these days, I'm happy to say, on the cult of youth worship, that the only women that are attractive are the ones who are under 30. It has gone up a bit from, from 23 now. Um, I, I think that uh, the possibility now is for women and everybody to live until they're going to be 80, 90 years old. There are 35 million women in the United States over the age of 40. So therefore, I think that it is absolutely wrong for a woman to think that she gets to be 23 and she's finished in whatever kind of situation she's in. So I'm very happy about, uh, about this. I'm, I'm very happy that I can be in some way some sort of a, a pioneer in the women's movement, women being attractive, desirable, over the age of 40. If that means that they call you a sex symbol, fine. I mean, that's all right. But it's just, it has to do with, I think, the way that, that people have to think about women today. Everybody always wants to know how old you are, how Linda Evans, 63. how old she is. But nobody ever asks how old Sean Forsythe is, and he's over 60 or even yes. older. Yes. I think there's a sort of, there's, there, there was racism, and then there was sexism, and now there's ageism. And I think that um, it's so stupid to have uh, labels hung around your neck or well, in the photographs that say, this woman is 25, this one is 35, this one is 65, because Quite frankly, I think I don't believe in uh, in chronological age. I believe in um, in the biological age, which of course can be totally different, and in the attitude of the way you feel and in how you look. I know I don't look near my age. I don't think Linda does, and neither does John Forsythe. I mean, you're a sex symbol. You're not the youngest sex symbol anymore, <laughs> and it might be a big surprise to you. Women. Uh, what do you somehow give us the feeling? Women would like to spend the rest of the life with you. Does you? Yes. Really? Yes. You never heard of it? You mean you're talking personally, Francis? Sure, I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very flattering thing. I'm not quite sure it's true, but it's very flattering. No, you were voted uh, the man of the year from the Women Foreign Press Club just to say, John Forsythe is the man we all would like to spend the rest of the life with. Well. I'm flattered by that, but I'm, I'm really not sure that it's right. As a matter of fact, my wife and my children, my daughters, giggle all over the place when they hear that. When they hear that, A, that I'm a sex symbol, there's a lot of giggling that goes on. And, I, and I'm inclined to go along with them, mm -hmm. too. I giggle a little bit at it, too. As a Crystal Carrington, you finally had the baby uh, she always wanted. In uh, real life, how do you feel about motherhood as Linda Evans? Well, that's something that I've always wanted. I've always wanted to be a mom um, all my life. My dream was to have a husband and a child. Acting was very low on my list of priorities, always. But um, there's no reason why I still can't do it. And I hope someday that that dream will come true. It's a trend these days that women necessarily doesn't need a father. You can bring up your own child. But you are not going into that direction. It, it mentioned that you want the father, you want the whole package, right? Yes, I would like, it's not just to have a child. Um, I can adopt a child, I can have a child. Um, I'd like a family, I would like a relationship with a man and to have a child. And um, if I, if that doesn't work out, then I just see it as destiny or life or that not meant to be. Mm -hmm. I've had a wonderful life, I, um, I have no complaints. As a, as a woman, you have lived both worlds. You had a husband and you dedicated your life, then you became uh, a successful career woman. Do you think it's possible to have both at the same time? Yeah, I think it's possible and I think it's very hard work. Um, many women today are going to work. Many women today have to go to work uh, to support themselves. They don't have a man in their life. Um, and a lot of women who have children and a husband are, are working. I think it just requires a lot of um, understanding and communication between the family to make it work. There seems to be a war between Dallas and Dynasty, at least in the media. Do you know uh, Larry Hagman? Do you know each other? Oh, yes. We're good friends. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, He's I a fine actor. 
and he's a, he's a good friend. Do you talk? But I, uh, but I never wanted to play Jr. You know, I wanted I wanted Blake Kang to be something quite different. Definitely. I just wonder, do you talk about uh, about your enorm? No. We talk about everything else but. Oh really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think when actors get together, they they would really prefer not to talk about their series. Mm -hmm. There's so many other things to talk about. I have a sailboat that we talk about sailing. I'm a tennis player. I play in tournaments. I'm going to play in three tournaments m coming up very quickly. I play at the White House in, in uh, May 25th. And then I go to Monaco and I play in the tournament that I won a couple of years ago in Monaco. Uh, and then I go to London and play at the Albert Hall. Mm -hmm. uh, I love to travel. We love to buy antiques. Our house is filled with, with lovely antiques. Uh, even Biedermeyer we have. Oh, really? My wife, is <laughs> my wife is not, she's of German descent. Her mother and father will come from Germany, but she was born here in this country. And uh, she, uh, I must tell you that she loves Germany. I like Germany very much too. You spent some time there? Yes, a little. Uh, we have gone through the Schwarzwald a couple of times, uh, the, just three, four, three years ago, or four years ago, I'm not quite sure. We took a trip down the Rhine, which was one of the highlights of my life. I have never had a better time. We went from Rotterdam down to Basel. We stopped in, um, in, uh, oh, in Bonn, in, uh, in Cologne, uh, Heidelberg. Places that I want to go back to. Very, uh, we want to drive and take our time. Mm -hmm. and go but, but the Rhine Valley is is magical place to be. Yeah. Will you ever find time now to go back? Well, I, not this year. This year is just mm. too complicated. But perhaps next year. Mm. You mentioned uh, Monaco, and of course, you, we were reading that because of your friendship with the family in Monaco, that some of the family members might appear on Dynasty as guest stars. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm laughing. laughs> no, 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 I don't think so. so we no, won't have that's to. another one of those stories from one of those <laughs> terrible newspapers, you know. They, 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 they just make up stories. It's just not yeah. true. But this story is, uh, is all over in Europe. Everybody is... Well, I don't know how they got it, but here. it's not true, believe me. Maybe from no. this terrible news. No, uh, Ranye, uh, Grace Kelly's husband, is a lovely man, but I don't think he thinks of himself as an actor. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the princess, Princess Stephanie? Well, I don't no. think Caroline, she's busy with the baby. Mm. I don't think that she ever wanted to be an actress. Mm. I don't know about Stephanie, mm. but I would rather doubt that, uh, that he, would, he would want her to be.